This is going to be a short overview or a basic review of a Vortex Strike Eagle rifle scope, which has a magnification range going from 1 all the way to 6 and it has a objective lens of 24 millimeters. <clears throat> this scope was first shown to public at SHOT Show 2015 in January and it created quite a big hype around itself since this is a really entry-level highly affordable wide-angle scope for dynamical shooting with a 6x zoom. It is also made by Vortex which is one of the fastest growing optical companies in the industry and especially at the American market so it really attracted a lot of people when it was first shown. Uh, well the first deliveries started a little bit later, not in January when it was shown uh, and the target group for this scope is definitely all new users of uh, of uh, 5.56 caliber rifles or uh, 223 Remington for dynamical shooting so for all of the people who are beginning to enter this sport to try it how it looks and so on since the selling price of this scope is uh, less than 400 euros so this is the main attraction of it so it, it's really cheap and it has a six time zoom and it has a couple of additional really nice features uh, unheard of before that in this price class one of such features is that the magnification is a real one so this scope can be easily used with both eyes open uh, the second feature is that it has a daytime bright illumination of the reticle I will cover this later but these two features are the main features which you use and need uh, at dynamical shooting competitions or at in general when you use it for close range it has a 30 millimeter tube it is a uh, approximately 27 centimeters long and it weighs half a kilogram it's not really a small scope but it is affordable it's filled with nitrogen waterproof and vortex also claims that it is shockproof i would say that uh, in general this scope can be mounted probably to any caliber but i would suggest mounting it on 5.56 or uh, 7.62 by 39 the uh, round which is used in uh, Kalashnikov um, it also offers really good uh, vortex warranty that means that you are always on a safe side if you go through the features the reticle is in the second focal plane uh, it offers daytime bright illumination the illumination is controlled on the side focus it has 11 different intensity levels what I also need to tell you you have probably seen our video of the reticle the reticle is quite thick this is due to the fact that uh, illumination is daytime usable because of the thickness of the reticle because there is the reticle has a shape of a horseshoe and it's really thick so you can you are able to see it in red color during the bright daytime um, it is also usable at 6x six, six magnification then you can use all the hashes under the center of the reticle for uh, compensation of the bullet drop so you just move your aiming point to the lower uh, lines and then you can shoot on longer distances with this scope um, in general I would say that the thickness of the reticle is a bit uh, it's it's not the best feature but on the other side this scope is really affordable so this is to be expected the turrets as you can see are multi-turn the clicks are really audible I would say in general that these turrets are really good for this price class the clicks could be crisper but we are talking about the scope which costs less than 400 euros the clicks are in MOAs that means one click is 7 millimeters at 100 meters 
and the total elevation range is approximately 280 MOAs, 40 MOAs in one revolution. I think this is more than enough for anyone to use. Um, to make a short summary, this is definitely a great entry-level scope for someone who is trying to enter the world of dynamical shooting, uh, who is new with this kind of equipment and doesn't want to spend a lot of money but still wants to get a decent product so that it gets, it gets a taste of how these sports look like, how it is to shoot with a wide-angle rifle scope in, in dynamical situations. Um, of course, I always conclude these uh, summaries with where, are, uh, where is the room for improvement or what could have been done better. Normally with scope like this, there is a lot of points or parameters which could be done better, but Vortex already offers the Viper PST line and the Razer HD line, which are both better and of course also more expensive. So I will not start with uh, all the parameters that could have been done better. I would still say that uh, for this price uh, it's almost astonishing that you are getting a real one-time magnification. Uh, 39 meters of field of view, which is really a lot, uh, even if you don't consider the price range. And daytime bright illumination. Mm, I, the only thing which I would say that probably the reticle could be a little bit thinner. But everything else for a scope on a four, for 400 euros or even less, I would say it's done really well. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any additional questions, if you have any, if you need any additional information, please visit our webpage, use comments on this YouTube channel or send us an email.